Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Scorpio Cat Tarot. Um, this reading is going to be for Libra for the week of January 3rd through the 10th. Um, if you guys are already subscribed to my channel, if you'd like to, there's a little link down there. You can hit the subscribe button. And there's also um, a place to get notifications. It's like a little bell shape. If you tap that, you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos. So, without further ado, let's see what the fabulous Libra has going on this week. Page of Swords. So that could be, um, Swords are like communications, ideas. So this could be like a new idea that you want to act on or you want to tell somebody something, but you're not quite sure how to do it. Knight of Cups, okay, that's an offer, a romantic offer, your feelings, love. So, um, could be wanting to offer that to someone. Conflict, huh. That could be inner conflict or that could be conflict with another person. Hmm. It's, it's an odd card to follow the uh, Knight of Cups. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. So this is just like a happy, solid, beautiful, blessed home life. You know, there's just plenty of money. Uh, the man and the wife there together. Um, I don't know who this old guy is. That could be Grandpa chilling in the corner. There's dogs and kids. And it's just, you know, they're just happy. It's a happy home life. So the, uh, the Knight of Cups, right, and the Ten of Pentacles go together, but I don't know what the conflict is in the middle. I don't know if that's inner conflict or uh, conflict with someone else. Justice, Libra, it's your card. <laughs> um, so it's consequences for our actions, you know. It's needed to make a decision, right? It's like being presented with evidence or facts and needing to decide what to do with it. So maybe that ties into the inner conflict. Maybe you're trying to make a decision about something. Also a very Libran card. That's temperance. It's all about balance. I don't know if you're feeling out of balance, you're wanting balance, or I don't know. New beginning. Okay. You want to take action to start something new. Hierophant, that's like marriage, traditional roles. Um, so a lot of cards on the board indicating that perhaps you want a um, new beginning in the relationship. Um, look what jumped out. Page of Pentacles, security, stability, uh, that's what I was getting at, that you want a more secure and stable partnership with your person, uh, more balanced. Um, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, that's like marriage. It's happiness, you know, Hierophant, marriage, um, stability, security. So maybe you have commitment on your mind or they do, you know, because energy is, is fluid. Um, I'm picking up on an energy, you know, and if it doesn't directly tell me yours or your person's, then it could be either one, right? And I just threw half the deck on the floor. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. 
So somebody's got a commitment on their mind. Either you or your person is thinking very strongly about it. All right. Okay, so that is third party situation. That is heartbreak, um, betrayal. What the fuck is that all about, Libra? Third party. Um, that doesn't really go with any of the cards on this board at all. They make, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Queen of Wands, she's very kind of, um, very regal, noble, dignified, but she can also be a little cold and aloof. I don't know whose energy that is. The Lovers. This is a uh, destined partnership. It's meant to be. It's just soulmate. Um, I don't know what's going on with that three of swords. It doesn't fit in here at all. Um, I mean, like, at all. Look, ten of cups. Again, marriage, happiness, solid commitment. You know, it's emotional, ultimate emotional fulfillment, you know. Look at the man and wife, kids playing, fucking rainbow of cups over their heads, a home in the background, okay? Ties in with this, same. Marriage, okay? Commitment. Soulmates. What is this? <laughs> I don't like it, Libra. You got a home wrecker prowling around? Judgment. Judgment is, uh, you know, using discernment, making a decision, um, being judged for our actions. It's the fool. That's a new beginning, a new path, a new journey. Two of Pentacles. That's uh, juggling, trying to balance. Could be indicative of um, two people, juggling two people. That goes with the Three of Swords. <laughs> A celebration. Ha, ah, Libra. Your cards did this last week. Your cards did this last week. They were they were on, they were off. They were, you know, back and forth. And again, here we go again. It's like all of these marriage, commitment, beautiful cards, okay, celebration. And then we have the three of swords and the, and the two of pentacles. Like, what is that all about? It just doesn't... It in. It makes sense. It's making me nuts. <laughs> the magician. Okay, so you're trying to make something happen. You're trying to manifest something. You're trying to. You're putting a lot of thought and energy and effort into something and trying to make something happen. foundation this is um a lot of people read this as a marriage card because you see uh, all the guests are gone right there's a, a wreath here like there's been a celebration he's in a red robe and she's in a white gown so it's like after the after the marriage 
Is that what you're trying to manifest? Nine of Wands. Trying to hold on to something. I'm trying to hold on to. Did that jump or did I drop it? I don't know. It's the King of Wands, um, Swords. So the King of Swords is very um, logical, right? He doesn't make a move without thinking of every angle, every uh... I'm a tangle. I feel like it flew out of there. So he's an air sign, you know, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, but you see, he's he's getting up off the throne. You see, he's pushing himself up off the throne there he's ready to take action so he's thought this through thought of every angle um and he's ready to take action i'm pulling a lot of cards um the devil so this is toxic energy so this could be um this could be struggling with like lust uh, greed, envy, um, excess, you know, this is like all things bad, you know, the bad side of human nature and feeling chained to somebody here. You see how they're chained together in the middle there? So it could be a toxic relationship. It could be codependency, it could be struggling with, um, you know, the darker side of self. Eight of Wands, action coming very quickly. Could also be social media. Could be something, it could be a communication coming to you via social media. It's a lot of fucking cards. Something's got you um, stressed out. Stressed out. And you're trying to be strong. Okay. I don't know. Um, from what I'm, I'm getting from the reading, and it's kind of all over the place again, but the majority of it is like, you know, uh, conflict. I think that's inner conflict. You're trying to decide if you want this or not, you know? You want to be balanced. Not do anything crazy, um, but I think you want a new beginning. Uh, I don't know if you want to marry your person or what, but there's a lot of marriage stability, home life, you know, domesticated kind of energy on this board. And then there's this shit. But this is your soulmate. Um, and I think what we got going on here. Libra, is I think um, you're trying to you're trying to make this relationship with your person happen. Okay, you obviously love this person. All kinds of beautiful cards on the board here. Okay, but I think that there is this very toxic energy surrounding you. Okay, I don't know. I think it's a person coming after you, honestly. I don't think you are the, um, I don't think you're the initiator. I think you're being pursued. And, um, I think it's social media. Somebody's coming towards you via social media, trying to get your attention, trying to get you to act out, perhaps trying to get you to do this. Okay, it's stressing you out. And you're trying to be strong because I really do feel like you, you love your person. I mean, you're invested. The majority of the cards here are stable, happy relationship. But I think that there's this little thorn in your side. Um, it's 
coming at you social media on social media trying to get your attention um, you know maybe you have some suitors coming for you so be mindful of that Libra all right let's pull from the astrological Oracle deck okay here's your card Libra all right and then I have a little deck of planets here and I'm going to shuffle it so it's completely random and then I pick a planet and pair, pair it with your card and then I have a little book that tells me what it means okay so I'm going to take this this is the Sun so the Sun in Libra my little book isn't that pretty Sun in Libra okay Reveal your radiant inner beauty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so maybe you're hiding something inside that's really beautiful and you're not sharing it with other people? I don't know. But anyway, that's what I got. This, uh, again, another weird reading for Libra. Um, but I do think that perhaps you're going to be pursued by somebody and um, I think you're trying to, you know, have this stable partnership with your person. I need some coffee, hold on. Um, but I think there's people trying to get in the way of that. So be careful. All right. Well, that's what I got for you for this week. If that makes any sense, you know, let me know. And I will see you next time.